What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. So, the Dawn of the New World slash Night of Ratatosk event and banners have gone live. They went live a little over 12 hours ago. And uh, as you can see, I already did do my summons. I wasn't in a position where I could record last night, um, but I was like, I couldn't wait. I was like, okay, the banner is up. I need to do my summons. And I've noticed that when I do my summons off camera, they are luckier than on camera. So like with a character like this, where I really wanted the unit, uh, I was very happy when things uh, went a little better than expected. But we'll talk about how my summons went in a second. Let's go over to the banner and just go over everything that is in here. So, by the way, first things first, these are still doing... I know you won't see it here because I already did my multis for the day. But you do still get a daily multi on each of these until, you know, they essentially go away on the 19th and 20th respectively. Um, I'm pretty sure you won't get enough to get this Mirage Art at the end. I don't think that's possible, even with two multis a day. Um, because that's still only, like, that's, like, another 500 of, uh, currency. And I think you need 1,500 to, uh, get it. So, you can at least walk away with two, two selected, uh, five stars at least. So, I'll probably wait till the end to do that. But, here's the banner, or I guess here's the normal banner. So, we have Emil's Ending Mirage Art, we have Marta's Overray, and then we have the Crossover Mirage Art for Alice and Decus. Interestingly enough, uh, oh, by the way, of course, you get an Emil and Ratatosk variant, whatever outfit you want to be wearing, or whichever voice, rather, I guess you want to be having. But, uh, very nice, you know, groom costumes for Decus and Emil. And the, I wish it would, like, stay on this page. If I hold it, will it stay? Okay, it does. Nope, okay, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, Emil and Decus get groom outfits and then bride outfits for Marta and Alice. And then, of course, Emil also gets uh, his cut-in. Interesting, uh, I mean, I will go into it later, but you don't... I know at first people will be like, oh, why didn't they do a Ratatosk one? Why is it just an Emil one? We'll talk about that in a second. Um... All four of them get new five stars. And then also Richter, I wasn't, ha before I summoned, you know, before I got extremely lucky, I was very upset that they were including Richter on here because I'm like, all right, there's already four characters and Emil and Marta have a ton of mirror darts already. So was it really necessary? But then again, this is Decus's second mirror dart and Alice's like technical third one if you count her collab one. Um, so there wasn't a, uh, you know, obviously wasn't a, uh, a ton in here. I mean, there's still a decent amount. I think there's still at least like 10 to 12 mirror darts in the banner. Um, but it's not as crazy as some other banners. So yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, there's 14. Okay, a little more than I thought. But it is still a very good banner if you're missing stuff for Dawn of the New World. Obviously, you've got Emil and Marta's overrays um, from before. You've got Emil and Richter's crossover mirror dart. You got everybody seasonal, so it is a lot of good stuff on this banner. So very, very cool there. That's what we have for the banners. Now to talk about how my summons went. First multi gave me Marta's seasonal, her Halloween one, which I didn't have, so I was very happy to have that. And then lo and behold, my second multi did give me Emil's uh, ending mirror jar. Of course, I got greedy and used the rest of my gems anyway. I was planning on using all my diamonds anyway, whether I pulled it or not, just to see if I could get some extra stuff. But be after that, I really didn't get anything. I got Emil's new five star and his ending mirror dart on that second multi. And then pretty much the other four or five multis I did after that gave me nothing. Uh, I don't even think I got another mirror dart after that. But since I got the main prize, I can't be super upset. I just would have liked to have at least pulled some more five stars, I guess. Even after pulling his ending mirror, I know it would be like, oh, well, you already got what you wanted. You don't need to be greedy, but it's like, okay, but I was lucky for two multis and then unlucky for four. So it's like, it, I wish it balanced out a little bit better, but no biggie. I still got what I wanted, like I said. So we are back to having another setup like this where you have the daily mission with your bags that you can get. And then, of course, you have the normal story event right here. And then this is still going on, by the way, the back from Tales of Festival. Um, I believe, yeah, this should be the final stage, because in 18 hours, uh, this event goes away. So, uh, the 16th is the final one. And you can use the Zealous coins you get from it to exchange for the Tales of Festival weapons. 
And then after that, uh, another handful of uh, different kinds of items that you might need. So, let's go over what's in here. So, it looks like they're going to do this from now on with this new coin. Uh, pretty much what happens is you want to do like a number of these, pretty much play the event every day. And then in your actual missions on the home screen, you'll get one of these coins once per day. And then you're able to exchange it for something. So, in this case, what they're doing is... Um, like I mentioned before, here's the cut-in for Ratatosk. So if you want Ratatosk cut-in, even if you don't pull Emil's Ending Mirror Jar, you can still get the Ratatosk cut-in. Oops. If for 10 days, you basically just play the event. Like just get on, do all your daily stuff that you usually do, and make sure you're playing the event for 10 days of the event. So pretty much from now until, you know, the 25th, which... How long is this event around for? Yeah, it goes until basically the 30th, so you have plenty of time to do that. Uh, I didn't mean to actually go into the stages yet. But yeah, so very, very cool there. I mean, obviously the last event had this as well, where you were collecting these coins to exchange for another seasonal ticket. But in this case, you're getting a Ratatosk cut in instead. And then, of course, you still do have a seasonal ticket for 200000 of the normal currency. Uh, you've got your bags, you've got your friend tokens... Um, you've got all your Nexus Crystals for Luana, so very, very cool there. And then everything else here is pretty standard, and then the only other thing I really exchanged for already were these, like, summon tickets. You get six of them here, but, which does seem lower than usual, but that's because you get the rest of them from the, uh, what do you call it? The daily bags. So let's go over to the bags real quick, just so we can cover this real quick. So yeah, these daily bags are pretty much what will give you your other summon tickets along with a bunch of other items you can get each day. Um, and then let me actually just look at this real quick before we end off the video, see if there's anything special. Obviously there's tickets here, but is there anything special? No, it's just this. I always feel like this should at least be like a five star, but you, you work hard to get this ticket and then you still only get like a four star. It's like kind of weird. Um, yep, okay, so nothing too crazy in the stuff itself here. Alright, well, uh, I guess we could do one run of the event stage itself, the, uh, the ending stage, so to speak. And, uh, maybe if, uh, it goes well enough, I'll be able to show off the mirror darts. I get a pretty good bag bonus from having the crossover mirror dart and, I mean, oh yeah, I didn't... <laughs> Never mind. I, I was I was totally wrong. I did get another mirror chart. I got Decus and Alice's. I actually totally forgot. Um, so really not that bad actually. I was I'm like complaining about four other multis, but in the back of my head I was like, did I really do that horribly? Like I don't remember being too upset last night. And then I was like, oh yeah, I did pull Alice and Decus' crossover mirror chart. So yeah, the only thing I didn't walk away with was obviously uh Marta's decisive mirror guard. So unfortunate about that, but I'm not too upset. Definitely show it off. I just want to see if I can show off the gold thing. There we go. Let's do it. God, I love it. And there you have it. That is pretty much it for the Dawn of the New World 15th anniversary event. So uh, I'm just going to be here farming for the next 10 days to get everything out of the shop. And then, of course, the next event. Well, I say 10 days, but like 15 days uh, this event will be around. And then once the 30th hits, that should be when the next collab is going to start, the Caro Caro uh, collab, um, which I'm really not going to summon for, regardless of who gets seasonals and stuff on that, because I know Crestoria is either going to be the event after that or two events after that, and I really need to start saving up for that again. I'd like to at least have another, like, 12, 1,400 diamonds by the time Crestoria rolls around in July. So that's what I'm going to be saving for moving forward. If I do any summons on the collab, I'll probably just do some paid multis uh, or some paid steps. Just see if I can get the stuff for at least the collab characters. But that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for our new channel. I'll see you next time.
Have a wonderful day, everyone.